Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to introducing inline styles. There are other complex concepts that add powerful capabilities to your React code, but you may be wondering about the more simple problem of how to style those JSX elements you create in React. You likely know that it won't be exactly the same as working with HTML because of the way you apply classes to JSX elements. If you import styles from a style sheet, it isn't much different at all. You apply a class to your JSX element using class name, attribute, and apply styles to class in your style sheet. Another option is to apply inline styles, which are very common in React.js development. You apply inline styles to JSX elements similar to how you do it uh, in HTML, but with a few JSX differences. Here's an example of an inline style in HTML. So we've got div styles, uh, styles with, has a yellow color and a 16 pixel font, and they say mellow yellow. JSX elements use the style attribute, but because of the way JSX is transpiled, you can't set the value to a string. Instead, you set it equal to a JavaScript object. Here's an example. So div, and then our style, we set it equal to, uh, within the parameters, we put an object with a key value pair of the key of color and the uh, string of yellow and the font size, and then the integer of 16, and then the mellow yellow. So notice how we camel case the font size. Uh, here we go. Camel, size, camel case font size, meaning instead of having a dash in there, it's a lowercase F-O-N-T and then a capital S and then a lowercase S-I-Z or I-Z-E. This is because React will not accept kebab case um, keys in the style object. React will apply the correct property name for us in HTML. Add a style attribute to the div. Here's the div in the code editor to give the text a color of red and a font size of 72. Okay, so we're going to go uh, style, set it equal to an object. Uh, should we do it like that? Yeah. And then we want the uh, color to be equal to red. <laughs> it's already updated. And the font size to be equal to 72 pixels. Big red. There we go. Yeah, I think it looks good like that. Um, cool. So yeah, that's how you do that one. Hope you guys enjoy this one. We'll see you in the next lesson. Oh, okay. So inline styling. I don't like inline styling at all. I think it's better to do everything like this in your CSS sheets because then when you build a large application, you don't have to go in and fix all your inline stylings. Inline stylings are a complete nightmare and it makes more sense to write applications with uh, not using inline styling. So I'm not a big fan of this. However, I do think that it's valuable to know how to do it. So hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.